Hey everybody, Jim Tedesco here, Millennium County Railroad version 2.0. <laughs> and this is an update on the layout. I made a little bit of progress today, not a whole lot, but some. So without further ado, I'm going to show it to you. Hang on while I readjust the camera. Alright, first things first, yes, the place is a hell of a mess. <laughs> and that generally happens when you're building a layout. It's temporary, of course, because I clean up usually at least every other day. So I don't get too deluded in the mess. But, I've been busy. I have here, this is the tunnel that goes for the passenger rail. The very back wall, and it's lit. I put two lights in there so that when you're running a train through with an onboard camera, you'll get to see it lit up. It's really cool. So we got that. Uh, I started the uh, terrain in the gullies here, valleys, whatever you want to call them. There's one there. There's one there. Just like I said, just starting. Just the primary coat. I got my dividers in. You're going to have two rivers that join into, like, I guess into a main lake, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> uh, and I'm thinking maybe I could find some mountain scenery. Maybe I could print it up myself and put it in the back. To help fill that in a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Now we've got this one here. We've got the terrain in. Both sides. And there's the other bridge. The newest bridge. I painted it rust color. And that of course is for the main and passenger line over here. I also painted the green bridge. Or blue bridge. Whatever color it was. It's now a gray, and I like the gray better, so it's going to go over here in front of the tunnel. And of course, the tunnel will be, you know, mountainous or whatever. I'll have to fill that in later. I started terrain over here as well, and the back wall, that side section. And I've got my main, uh, I guess you call that a river, river down the middle. I'm going to set that up real nice. And I started laying track, so it's, it's going to be a slow, long process because I just kind of limit on what I can uh, weigh things down with and all that. So I start on the passenger line, and it comes around like so, and terminates right here for the moment. Tomorrow I'll run I'll do the, the whole run down to the end. And I couldn't really do much before because, remember I said I was going to go ahead and join, uh, put a, um, a connection between the main line and the passenger line. Well, I needed two more turnouts, so the two Pico turnouts already came in. Yay! <laughs> they came in yesterday. So I should have enough turnout, turnouts now for the lower, lower level. I'm going to have to buy a whole bunch for the top, you know, for the ladder and all. And I'm probably going to use that uh, ladder system that Sparky was talking about. I like the way it looks and it seems a lot easier than trying to piece together turnouts willy-nilly. So I'll look into that. I was also waiting on a curve turnout right there. That came in yesterday as well. So not too bad. I mean, it's not a whole lot. Definitely nothing to brag too much about, but it's a start, right? <laughs> And you got to start somewhere. So hopefully, I could get at least maybe everything on this table here, track-wise, on the lower level. Hopefully, I get all the track in, like in the next two or three days. Maybe four days, hard telling. I'm still waiting on the crosses for the uh, swing gate. The cross tracks. I don't know what's taking them so long. They were ordered two weeks ago. If the mail were any slower, I'd have to check it for a pulse. <laughs> so that's kind of a hold up there, because i got to have the two crosses where it jumps, you know, two cross two tracks there. So, uh, but anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, so I did do a little rearranging here. I raised my refrigerator, because, you know, I'm getting old and it's hard to bend down. <laughs> so... I made a, a platform out of some paint cans and a P 
piece of plywood. Now it's a little bit higher and I moved it over some. And I cleaned off the bench, it's a little more organized. And that's the thing, you gotta really stay on top of the whole organization thing, it's not easy. What I'm going to do is, I ordered a sink, and I know you guys probably think I'm nuts, but you know, when you're doing a lot of painting and stuff, what do you need to go with your, your airbrush and your airbrush paints? You need water. I have no water source in here, and the nearest water source is about 50, 75 foot away. So I'm going to run a cold water line into the shed. I bought a sink. It's a, a hand washing sink, actually. It's kind of tiny. It's stainless steel. should be here in about a week. And it was not cheap, but it wasn't too pricey. I mean, I tried to find the cheapest thing I could find that would work. I couldn't use a, 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 um, a, a tub basin like you see in a garage or a laundry room because it's too big and there's no room for it. So this is a wall mount and it's going to probably go right above the uh, refrigerator. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue there. It's a necessity, so... Otherwise, I can you know, bring buckets of water in here. It would be a pain in the butt, and I'm just not doing it. And it's always nice to be able to wash your hands or whatever, your face, you know. Or, you know, you've got something in your eye, you can wash your face, you know, wash your eyes out. There's a lot of different reasons to have a sink in, in your train room if you're not near a bathroom. And I'm definitely not near a bathroom. So, uh, I'm also soldering the track together at the joints. Not all of them, probably every three sections will be soldered to allow for expansion and contraction. I don't think that'll be a real issue, but it could. I mean, it's ins well insulated in here, and it maintains a pretty specific temperature for the most part. Um, it's damn cold outside right now. It's about 60 degrees, I believe, which I know for you northerners is, is like a heat wave. But... For down here, it's cold, and for this time of the year, it's very unusual. Now, today was the first day of spring, and my trees are still shedding leaves. They're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> so, I think every, you know, Mother Nature is a little confused right now. But uh, So, anyway, that's where I'm at, and I haven't really done much of anything. I started to build what's going to be the new Doodle Lake, the Nude Lake. <laughs> Gotta have that, right? Uh, it's gonna be well camouflaged from the trains and from, you know, because it has to be. <laughs> but that's where that's gonna be. Uh, let's see if anything else. That's about it for right now. So, like I said, I'm still waiting on those crosses and a, and a few other things. I did purchase another airbrush. I bought a trigger brush this time. And the reason I bought it is because it could do larger volume. Has a point uh, a 0 0.5 millimeter tip on it, and it really wasn't that expensive. And it's a nice, it's a nice one too. So, because the ones I use, they just there's such a small pattern. It would take like, I, I can't believe that. You know, in the one in Naples, my mountain terrain, which covered what three walls. <laughs> I don't know. It must have took me forever to do that because I used the same technique. I used an airbrush. And I started using the airbrush here, the old one. I go, oh man, I'll be here for a month. <laughs> and this is a small area. So, but anyways, and of course I'm going to go over a second coat with uh, the India ink, which I still have plenty of that. Good stuff. That's what I did last time. I gave it a lot of definition. So we'll do the same thing this time. Should come out nice. Uh, let's see, that's about it, I believe. I can't think of anything else. So we're going to wrap it up until next time. As always, keep it on the rails. And we'll see you real soon. And thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you all soon. Bye.